This is Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. In this first clip, we have a bit of a Karen who gets in a bit of an insulting match with a bunch of either teenagers or young adults. Oh, you're you're so old? Old? You're so so Are you kidding me? Oh shit! Listen! Oh shit! People oh. Come down. Oh. <laughs> That's all he can do. Because you know what? Real men, real men, they're over there and they are balling. Really, really. And you got no here with your big. <laughs> Show what you can do. Show us what you can do. Oh boy! Oh, oh, boy. Oh, 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 she just called me boy. That's that's. Yeah, let me get that shit. Look at this shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! That's crazy. Oh shit! Bigger. You gotta check the nails. Check the nails. That's actually nice. I like that's, done. that's beautiful. That's, that's genuine. Beautiful. That you're nailed. Go on, say cheese. Go on, say cheese, little Go on, say cheese, little nigga. Go on, say cheese. Yeah, cheese, cheese, cheese. Oh, your boat. Hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> this shit made me laugh. You guys are gonna buy you a bra for your little. I got you, bro. I love how quickly this Karen just changed her entire mindset to this entire thing, going from more trying to go off at them to just me like, you know what? I can play their game. Let's have fun being complete and utter idiots while they record me. Absolutely, probably the most wholesome Karen clip I've watched. Love these guys. <laughs> In this next clip, we've got the neighborhood having a screaming match from their doorsteps. Who are like you're not even in this? You're like 18. F yeah. He's having you, everybody. I know, my honey. I can't help your mom's a crazy bitch. I love how they're all just sitting at this doorstep of their homes and are trying to scream across the street to other people for some weird reason. It's just like they don't really want to fight about this, but they kind of do at the same time. They just won't fully commit. <laughs> Either way, what a street. In this next clip, we've got a neighbor, Karen, that absolutely refuses to give any form of common courtesy to their new neighbor and move their large flower pot out of the way of the door. Because this new neighbor needs the door to be all the way open in order to use their mobility device because of a disease that they have. Don't touch my stuff. Stop don't at me. touch my stuff. Do you want me to call the doctor? I don't care who you call, call Brett. Right? Don't touch my stuff. Because I'll come out here and touch all this crap. Don't, I don't touch your stuff. Okay, don't go in the stuff. box. This is you an undone. You don't own this property. Janice, we had a conversation it. about that being in the I way, I don't though. care. You Claire know has what? mobility Brand issues, though. Mobility, my butt. She's not in a wheelchair. That doesn't mean anything. She uses care. a cane. I don't care. Don't touch it. Okay. She don't uses touch it. a cane. Once you touch it again, you start a war with me. Don't well, touch it. A war? It. What does that mean? Don't touch it. It doesn't belong to you. Oh, you're right. I don't touch your stuff. You're right. But you don't own this. I don't own this. So where I put you my plants is my choice. I right, don't own but we anything. Can't get I don't in want to hear. I don't want to talk to you. But we can't open the door yes, all the way. Yes, you can. No, we can't. Every person that has lived here. Has I don't care the door what every person has well, done. I don't care either. That makes two of us. Don't touch it. Because if you do, it's going to be, it's, I'm going to get even. I'm just telling you. You're going to get even? You know it. I said don't touch it. I'm asking you. What does that do mean? Not touch, you, I'm telling you what it means. Don't you're gonna get even because we're trying stuff. to move your don't plant because it's in the stuff. way. Just don't touch my stuff. I don't touch. You want to get even because we want to move your plant because it's in the way. No, it's not in the way. It is, this in, the is way. in the way. This would Janice, be in the way. Please, that's ridiculous. No, of course it's in the way. Ridiculous. That's don't in front of the door. Don't of course it's in the way. Of course. So it's not in the this way. This is yes, it is. This it's is in the way also. You know what? This is in the way also. I don't want to discuss nothing with you guys. Just don't touch it. That's all I'm saying. Now, there's a few things you could possibly do here. A, you could potentially, if you own the places you guys are all living in, a homeowners association, because I know over in America, they tend to be some pretty interesting people, to say the least, and how what you can and cannot do with your house, regardless of whether you actually own it or not. B, you can potentially get some police involved now, because there's now footage of this neighbor very clearly threatening you if you dare touch the pot ever again. On those who are curious on what lupus is, effectively speaking, it's a disease where your own immune system attacks healthy tissue, which means an array of different problems. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who does not understand the very definition of some cars are just loud and there's no way to really turn them down with ease. 
We're leaving right now. We're leaving right now. Sorry. Are you aware of the noise Yeah. Yeah. We're leaving right now. Sorry. This is the loudness, but I usually don't park it here. So you do. I hear you. I live right here. I hear you every morning. I hear you. Not every morning, though. I hear you a lot. A lot. A lot. Like a once lot. or twice a week. Yeah. A lot, and it's scary. The sound. Yeah, you just scared it's the shit out of my cat. Oh, sorry about that. We'll park like somewhere further down next time. But this yeah, car usually you, reside. Are you, is he filming right now? Yeah, I, I run like a YouTube channel. Yeah. What are you filming for? What's that? I run a YouTube channel, so right. we film like okay. everything we do, so. It's just why a loud there? car, sorry. So, so what should we do? All the neighbors are complaining. So this car usually is parked in Playa Vista. I'm talking about the noise. The noise, it's unbearable. Okay. Why is everybody complaining? It's not even nine o'clock. On a weekend. Yeah, that's why we're leaving right now. So I get it. I'm not talking about parking or leaving. I'm so what, talking what, about the sound. I mean, there's nothing we can do about the sound. That's just. But then you, uh, there's something you need to do. This is not. Now, because I'm a bit of a car nerd, I have a pretty good understanding that some states in America do have noise pollution laws for cars, that you can only, a car can only be as loud as a certain decimal limit measured by a mic put at a certain distance away from the exhaust pipe. There are ways to turn this down for some vehicles. But what I can tell with what the steering wheel is, it looks like it's a Lamborghini. It might be a V12 or something like that, which tends to be on the louder side naturally anyway, and there's not particularly much you can do about that. In this next clip, we got an old fart who doesn't like the fact that skate parks make noise. That is cheap, That's a joke. That's, it's a skate park, but it's half built. And all it does is create noise. And you're acting like it's our fault. I'm not acting like it's your, I'm just pointing out why I'm upset. Because I happen to live right here. I know, but you're and saying I, with him doing all those tricks and stuff is our fault because... No, I didn't say it was your fault. You technically are. Well, take it the way you want. I was yelling at him, not you. I was yelling at you because also I hear stereo outside my house now. Because you guys don't even think, hey, take that radio. Play it at your house, but like I say, the ordinance is 50 feet during the day daytime. And after seven o'clock, it goes to 25 feet. Otherwise, you'd have every other whatever playing their boom, boom outside. And then people would come in here and they play their music when they're skating. And the next one's right there where they have this music going on. Pretty soon it's nothing but a trailer trash. Fuck well, you out. live in a town where there's a lot of- I live in a of... town and they have ordinances, but they're not enforcing the ordinances like they should. And I, I keep yelling at the police about that. But if I'm out here and I see something going by, and I try to make you think, why, why does he like our music going? Why don't you, why don't you take it? Is there something wrong with her? Yeah, it's against the, it's against the rules here. I have a little right then to- Then tell the owner. No, huh? tell the owner, and they'll do something about it. You can't just tell us and act like we're just going to take over someone's territory and just build on it. What? Never mind. I can't hear. I, uh, the plane going, I didn't hear what you said. What you said? I said that it's not our fault. You want us to come and build on this thing when it's not even our property? This is a school's property. Okay, and this I don't vote at grant schools. And it has its own rules on it. That's not no our fault. There's no music in the skate park. What's the problem with that? You act like, okay, so you're saying the football practices and bug you, but when we bring our music here, it bugs the you? football doesn't bother me. Yeah. I'm having fun. Kids can have fun, but I don't like being in my house where I can't even shut my door, and it's just boom, 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 and all I hear is that trap metal sound. Because it's a skate park, and it's made out because of metal. Because it's a skate park, yes, it should have insulation, but it's not. It's, to me, it's nothing but an abominable... You're living in a they small town a where there's park, houses everywhere. It insulation, and I've told them about it, and i told them about it. And so this is my way of fighting bad. Where I'm out here and I, I'm so tired of listening, I go up and I say, fuck you. Because and then he slams, yeah, because he's, and then he slams it more. Yeah, I don't blame him for it. Well then fuck them all. 
Yeah, I'm not you. harassing you because of that. We, did you not hear? We heard I'm not harassing you, you about that. We heard you say fuck you all the way over Yeah, to those, that guy in there. Yeah, and you think you. saying fuck you is going to make Then I said fuck you because you would turn your because you turn your music back on. You couldn't be like, excuse me, can you please turn your music down? No. That's the appropriate There's way. A, I don't have to come out here and ask, but you please, please turn You don't have to say like that. Just rules. be like, please, can you turn your music down a little bit and and leave it like Not that. Not even a little and bit. Th There's no zero. Because if you have it, then they want it, and they want it, and the other person, and 10,000 people down here during football are going to be playing their music. What do you expect us to do? Just go by the rules. Don't play music down here. What's the big deal? Okay, well, there's coaches that work at the school, and if those coaches aren't saying anything about it, then I'm pretty sure it's perfectly fine. The coaches have to say something to you? I'll, I'm going to get those assholes down here at the Grant, Grant City to redo do the signs up there, and I'll show you right on there. No music played at the skate park. Yeah, and people are going to fight back. Then when you don't do it, I'm going to call them. They're going to just bar you from coming down to this park. And you act like... Seriously, like you're just overreacting about it. I okay. live here for 17 years and I've been putting it up with it for the last 10. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of trying to enjoy a Sunday here and have to hear some slamming all around. You know, I'm not even know what to really say to this one because it's just one of those things where clearly he's lived in the same place for a long ass time and some of these problems have only just recently started to come about over time. It wasn't initially an issue when he first moved in. So there's honestly one of those things that you can't just foresee things that will happen over the time frame of living in a house. But at the same time, I... Like, throughout the day, people may be loud in these parks and stuff like that, but that's because the people are making use of the parks. I would much prefer if things that the town or the city pay for, other places pay for to have put into the town would get actively used so the money's not wasted. Definitely could have been built better, because I know that in... Australia, a lot of skate parts are made out of solid concrete, so they don't really conduct much noise. And clearly, apparently, in this one, a lot parts of the skate park are made with metal, which is an interesting material, to say the least, but it is what it is. I don't know. In this next clip, we got a person who decided to record themselves just being a bit of a nuisance to a few staff members at a shopping store. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing today? I'm uh, good. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, I just had a little bit of a customer service complaint that I had yesterday. I came in the store. Uh, in here? Yes, ma'am. I, okay. I, I came in here and I was looking to just get some baby clothes, right? Okay. I was shopping uh, for some of my baby clothes. Are you clothes. recording? Yes, ma'am. This is for my personal safety, right? Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, what's your name? My, my name's uh, Jacob. But basically, yeah, basically just somebody called me a baby. I came in here and somebody said, hey, you're, you're just a big old baby. Okay. And you know what I mean? You know I was just help you. Well, yeah, I was just basically trying to get some clothes, and I said, "Hey, can I get some baby clothes mm -hmm. from in the store?" And then the lady was just like, "You know what? You're just a big baby," oh. and it hurt my feelings. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, if you could just stay right here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, hey, how are you doing, sir? Hey, do you need some help? Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Well, I just had a little bit of a customer service complaint, okay. and that's all. And basically, I just came in here the other day. I was looking for some baby clothes, mm -hmm. and I was saying, hey, uh, could you guys help me find some baby clothes? And one of your sales associates said, you know what? You're just being a big baby. That's what they said to me. It kind of just hurt my feelings a little bit. And who was I the associate? Say, I don't know. It was a very good-looking individual. It was an attractive. Everything else was good. It was a good learning environment. But I was just wanting to let you guys know that I came in here to get some baby clothes. And one of your sales associates said that I was just being a big baby and hurt my feelings, you know. Maybe I am being a big baby. That doesn't sound like my staff. Maybe, you, maybe I mean, maybe you're maybe right. Maybe you misunderstood them, but maybe that does I not sound like my staff. It maybe all. was a misunderstanding, so I apologize about that. Mm -hmm. And there's no, I don't mean to discredit this establishment. I know you guys do a good job and everything here. I was just maybe, maybe I was just feeling the vibes wrong. I what think, day was you in here? I can't remember. So you don't know the associate or you can't remember and the I can't day remember day. the day. I have no idea. It may not even happen. So it may not have ever happened. It may not have even happened. May not even here. It may. Have, maybe I dreamed it. Honestly. Okay. So I apologize about that. And uh, 
I guess I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I think somebody maybe called me a baby uh, at one point in time. I may not have been here, but I'm just about to get out of y'all's hair. You know what I mean? All right. I appreciate it. And you guys have a good day. Thank you all. This is probably the thing I hate the most about social media, just the amount of people who are just recording themselves being doing stupid things, being annoying to retail workers for the sake of it's going to be a good clip, especially if these people become upset or angry and just being an overall public disturbance for the sake of recording content they can post online to get some social fame. It... Uh, in reality, this guy just looks like a goddamn dumb fuck. I can't say the other word that I was going to say because YouTube will straight up demonetize this video. <laughs> but it's just like, why? Why are you being like this? You just stop. So prior to this clip, what I can gather here is that the person who ha the person who's recording, their child when opening the door accidentally tapped or slightly hit the Karen's car in this instance. But what can be gathered is that there is no actual marks that can be definitively defined being caused by the door being opened a little too widely. The person recording immediately apologized, but the Karen decides to uh, go get the police involved and it turns out that's not quite working out for her either. Your side of this she did open the door, but just before I say anything, can we look over here? If my child opened the door, where's the dent? First, look for the dent. Okay. Like there, there is no dent. Hold on. It did, and I haven't moved the car. I stayed here. I didn't want to be blamed for a hit and run. She came in. First of all, she screamed like, oh, my God. My child was scared. We went inside. Then, like, 10, 20 minutes later, she came in. Are you going to take responsibility for this? For what? The, the car doesn't It doesn't even align with what dent. There's a dent over here. But the, 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 if, she, if my child even opened the door, she would have to, like, scrape against it. I don't see a dent. So I apologize because yes, it was my child's fault, but there is no dent and I didn't leave. I, and I told her, I don't want to talk to you anymore. That's it. My child's crying in the car right now. I stayed here. I did what I needed to do. And I'm telling you my side of the story. There is no scrape. There's no dent. There's nothing on the car. There are so. <laughs> well, they don't match up with, I, I agree with her point. They don't match up with her door. Um, so not, 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 not all the scrapes are, are from that, but the thing is, well, this is what I'm going to tell you. This is not a motor vehicle collision. She does not. She's not legally required to give you her information. If you want, if you would like to take down her license plate and give that to your insurance company, that's up to you. So, but um, as far as a law enforcement standpoint, she is legally not obligated to give you her information because it's not a motor vehicle collision. It's, it, what it is, uh, ma'am. What it is is it's a civil issue between you and her, and you could take her to civil court. Yes. So it's not. It's okay, it's baby. Not a come, motor here. Vehicle come here. Come here. Come here. Well, you have her license plate. I would give that to your insurance and let them go after her. However, they do. Listen, we didn't do anything wrong. We didn't do anything wrong. Well, I mean, accidents happen. What she's trying to do is calm her child down. I'm, I'm in agreement so actually with her that the child didn't do anything wrong. We made a mistake. And I apologize. First thing, my child did something wrong. I apologize. I apologize. That's not something you could bring up in civil court, but really it's irrelevant at this point to me. You know, this is one of those things where I, I don't feel like you should really care precisely too much about. If it was a new car, maybe I can understand that point of view a little bit more. But clearly, you can see from other sections of the car that you can see in the recording, like there's a nice big mark on the rear bumper bar, that the car's not exactly in pristine condition. So, a potential little scratch, not even a dent from a door to add on to the massive amount of marks that are clearly on that car like something very unnoticeable that the police officer is struggling to really notice what's there that was caused directly by the door i feel like it's just one of those things where a child did something silly they accidentally opened the door too much it's a young child who's now clearly distressed over this entire thing i would personally just move on no point to make a big deal out of this it's not the end of the world
like a bird. Offer <laughs> response, thank you very much. Yes. But listen here, you come back out here and start touching your equipment, you are going to go to jail. I don't care if you agree or you disagree. It's not your job to come out here and tell them what they can and can't chop down. Thank you. <laughs> They're just trying to do their job. It's Monday morning. Our, and it's only Monday, man. It's only Monday, man.